Hello guys, once again it's Matt and today we have another patch video, We a very quick one to be honest, so let's get going. Thank you all my members and patrons and subscribe, be a member, be a patron, help it out, it makes a lot of difference, so yeah, let's get into it. So we're going to talk about the custom loadouts, okay guys? A lot of aircraft got the custom loadouts, I already covered some of them on the dev server, but I will cover them all again, okay? So, first of all, the Harriers, or the AV-8A, the AV-8C for the US, got the custom loadout. So, remember, you cannot have bombs and missiles, it's because you can create uh, a custom loadout, okay? And a lot of people don't know about this for some reason, but yeah. For example, you can create a very asymmetric loadout if you want to. Why would you do that? I have no idea, but... In this aircraft at least but you can you know come on pro processing operation so yeah as you see a, a very asymmetrical loadout uh, different bombs in different places with missiles and stuff so very weird uh remember the av8a also received that uh then the f105d actually received that which is very very cool uh now you can actually create some very weird ones so for example let's try to use this i don't know if it can yeah i can so i don't know why would you do that but because it's just chef but still pretty cool right this chef was actually used for i guess the s 75s you know but in vietnam but uh still <laughs> so you can use uh napalms for example together with bombs in here together with a thousand a 3000 pound bomb over there so you can create anything that you want uh, you can be creative but <clears throat> but uh there's not much to talk about to be honest because uh, these aircraft already had kind of a very good loadout you know so there's some of them that are very good but still uh the second one uh, the third one uh rdf the a4s finally got them so yeah let's take a look the a4s are pretty good because they can take a lot of different things so yeah this this is the the b variant so it doesn't change much you know you can stick still the, the normal stuff that you normally carry it on it you know it doesn't change much because of the limited pylons that you have uh let's take a look on the e early yeah this is more like it so you have more pylons so you can take the a9s obviously then maybe some napalm for example and then some, uh, let's take the, the Mark 82s. So you can do anything that you want, man. This is like very, very fun, in my opinion. Let's take a look on how it, was, uh, how it is. So yeah, asymmetrical loadouts for depending on the target. You can use different loadouts. So very, very cool. I want to show on the Israeli ones once we get there because those ones are the good A4s. <laughs> because, yeah. Guys never added the good A4s for the US, <laughs> which is a problem by itself, but yeah. Uh, then the British got some, so the Harriers, obviously, the, the um, GR3, for example, here. So as you see here, Harrier GR3, it is a little bit better than the US, I think, uh, in the way that the bombs are, but still, not too much. Uh, then the Buccaneers, both of the Buccaneers actually uh, got a new custom loadout as well, so you now you can actually use... Let's try to see if it works. Countermeasures. Bombs. Let me get the best bombs out of here. I mean... Let's take the, the, the 500 ones. Just because of it. Yes, man. You can actually do this. Alright, so this is actually a good thing, man. You can actually take the, the countermeasures. Which are large caliber, by the way. So it's the big ones. So it's the effective ones. Together with... A full loadout and a missile, for example. Or let's try to do another one. Let's see if I can take more bombs. Yeah, I can take a full loadout of bombs together with one chef uh, player pod, you know. So that way it is asymmetrical, as you see, but that way you can actually uh, have a little bit more bombs, you know, and still be able to protect yourself because, you know, not having flares in the Buccaneer is kind of problematic and having 104 countermeasures it is kind of too much as well you know it's kind of a seagull here like screaming on my window i hope you guys are not hearing that but i don't know it's a very weird seagull because i am like i don't know like 300 kilometers from the sea so 
what is an seagull doing here? But still. Uh, so yeah, another one is the T2 and the F1. So let's take a look. It doesn't change much, you know, as you see. Especially on the T2, it doesn't change much. I mean, the good part is on ground battles that you can actually take uh, rockets together with bombs, obviously. This is probably the best thing about this uh, on this aircraft, on the T2 itself. Uh, remember, the new T2 also will have this. So, yeah, pretty cool. And then we have the F1. Let's take a look on the F1. The F1 should be a little bit better, yeah. You can take... Um, I don't know. You can take anything that you want here, man. You can take three A nines for some reason. And then, I don't know. You can do whatever you want. Uh, there's not many possibilities in some aircraft. And there are many in others. So, yeah, there is depends on the aircraft, right? But pretty cool as well. Uh, then the Vautours for the French. Uh, so, there's... I don't know if it's every single one of them. Let's check. So, this one, obviously. The A... Let's check the B. You can create, yeah. And then obviously we had already on the N. Yeah, this was already a thing on the N variant. Okay. Uh, then the Israelis also got on their on their Vautours as well. So yeah, as you see here, you can take some interesting loadouts here. Bombs together with two Shafriers. Always a nice option, you know. Um, and let's check. This one also carries uh, Shafiris, right? So, yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool. And then we have the A4s. The last aircraft that we're going to talk about is the Israeli A4s. So let's take a look on what we can have in here. These, that's a lot of payloads. So we can have some, some napalm, some cannon pods. I mean, you can use one cannon pod only here, maybe. You can do whatever you want. It's very, very fun to have this. And it's very, very useful depending on the aircraft as well. So, Jesus, that's a big gun pod. Um, let's see the E early or the A4M. This one is probably one of the best. No, the, the AN would be the best, right? But this is what I wanted to take a look. Uh, I don't know if you could do this before. Let's... I, I don't remember. I think you could, but there is one option that I, I really want to take a look on the end, but still. So, as you see, pretty pretty good. Uh, the four, the three guided bombs there. And then we have the A4N, which is basically the best variant of the A4. And now we can have it. Uh, so, Shafir 2, because it's better than the M9. Then the AGM, probably. Yeah. And then... Mavericks, yes, you can do it. Uh, this is amazing in a squadron battle or even in a normal battle or air-to-ground battle, you know. It will be amazing. You have two bombs, you have three Mavericks, and you have two guided missiles for helping out. Uh, if you really want to, you can even take out one of the on the Shafirs and add more stuff here. But this is just pretty good, man. Look at this. It's just amazing, amazing. Pretty good. Uh, yeah, guys. And there is another uh, little feature that you have to consider. A lot of aircraft received the, basically the fire extinguisher, you know, that we got. So, for example, the Hunters, a lot of British aircraft, uh, the Lightning. So, many of them have the fire extinguisher, the Javelin, the Scimitar, the Seahawk, um, Attacker, if I'm not mistaken, the Swift. There's a lot of aircraft here. Let's see the Attacker. No, the Attacker is not. It's just not researched. <laughs> Uh, the Buccaneer also receive it. So there's many, many aircraft, the Jaguars. So many, many aircraft receive it. Uh, so check it out there as well, okay? But hopefully you enjoyed the video. And I see you guys on the next one. I will be starting from now on the vehicle vehicles videos, you know? So the Q5L, the MiG-21, base and stuff like that. I will be doing video on every single aircraft that was added. Um, so make sure to subscribe. Be a member, guys. Helps a lot. Be a, be a patron. Uh, links are in the description and yeah, make sure to subscribe and bye guys. See ya.